Hey, hi, happy morning, or maybe it's a happy evening for you. Let me introduce myself. I am Jane from India, Tamil Nadu, and I am basically an engineer, but I'm truly and thoroughly passionate about teaching English and spreading the knowledge and the radiance of the English knowledge and getting more people to speak the most wanted English language. Agree or not, English has become an universal language which everybody wants to grab on the go. I feel good when I basically help someone to change their lives. When I bring a change in their lives, I truly feel blissful. So I'm here to bring at least a small, a little change in your life or in your way of speaking the English language. So um, today here I'm there to tell you how you could just pick up a challenge for yourself. Uh, it might be a 30 day or 60 day or a three month based, a three months based challenge for yourself which you could set and achieve the target of speaking good English, at least sensible English a shade better than what you were before taking up the challenge for yourself. So how you go about it and how you get into a better accent and a better knowledge of speaking good English, that is my responsibility. So to begin with, let us take up a 30 day or 60 day or a challenge of a specific time which you desire for yourself. Don't make it too elaborate. That is my suggestion. Okay, just beginning year. I'm starting up with the uh, true words of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the People's President of India, who has he has been a person who has been risen from such a humble background without not much of good English and scope, but yet how he reached the heights of a Himalayan mountain because of his hard work and efforts. So beginning with his five lines to speak in the morning, in front of the mirror, maybe. First thing is, I am the best. I am the best. The second line is, I can do it. The third one, God is always with me. Fourth one. I am a winner. The fifth one, today is my day. Doesn't all these things sound so good? They do. So uh, here is the bit of motivation for you. Tell these lines or speak these lines in front of the mirror without any nervousness to just pat up and cheer up yourself. So what is my methodology of teaching you English? I'm not here to give you any false promise. Uh, just uh, bet yourself, see you. You could just make it on the go without any effort. I'm not here to tell you that. Well, just like how you see the vendors, the shopkeepers or any roadside wala, tea vendor, anybody who speaks good English or any other language, you must be perplexed. You would have been perplexed. Did all of them have excellent language learning skills? That was not the case. The more they got used to share and the more they spoke, that made them very fluent with the language. I guess you got my tip. Okay, just start with the first tip and, and just gear up yourself to do these two steps for today as an initial step in your challenge. So, okay, tip number one. Start listening to more of English. It might be conversations, it might be TV shows, it might be YouTube videos or anything what you wish. Say for example, I just tell you if you love cooking or you love painting or you love making up your room or you love gardening, watch any video or any short of um, um, TV shows regarding to that and just 
keep listening that for repeated times, maybe two or three times. Just go about it, okay? Listen to that and get it again and again so that you will get used to the words related to your taste, your hobby time and your passion and you will like speaking that or telling about what you um, learnt towards that to your friend or to yourself. You can just pat yourself and say you learned these words. Okay, that is the way you go about it. Tip number one, listen to more of English videos, conversations, YouTube videos, maybe anything of that sort. The second tip is you have to lessen the amount of time you spend, the amount of passion and time you spend to learn or listen your mother tongue. It might be Spanish, it might be Tamil, it might be even um, French, Chinese, anything for that sort. You might be any language speaker. Cut down on the amount of time you are spending to listen that. You, for example, you might be watching a serial or a series for a half an hour or two hours or three hours or spending time on a movie for three hours a day. Please cut down on that. And slowly you can just stop listening to those kind of videos in your native tongue because that gets you more attached to your native tongue. Always the more you listen, the more tendency you have to speak that. So in that way, you can cut down how many hours you have you are just spending towards listening or watching your native tongue shows. That drives you no way away from the passion and the love you have for your mother tongue. It is always going to be with you. That is not a fear at all. You don't need to have the fear that you might stop loving your native tongue. It cannot happen actually. For the time being to pick up the challenge, just try this kind of tip. Okay, my second tip is you have to lessen the amount of time you spend on watching your um, videos or shows or anything related to your native tongue maybe your movie list maybe you can cut down on that instead you can start listening or watching a movie on a good English masterpiece or a documentary like that you can just watch something like that or anything as I said as a hobby a passion what do you have regarding that you can just listen and along with that, what you can do is every day, this is the task for you, I'm giving for you today. Every day, you could just write five to 10 sentences, simple sentences, at least carrying five to six words more than that, that would be very fine. Write a few sentences and that, and just send it to me through the email address I provide here, or even you can leave it in the comment box. And just make it a habit to write five to ten sentences and start speaking that. Make use of those simple sentences. Write sentences in a way that they will be useful for your day-to-day -day life too. Or maybe if you're searching for a job, try to write sentences related to that and start speaking that. Anything, any queries or any doubts you have or you want me to um, teach you something, you can just send me and inform me in the comment box or to an email or you have a long bar at the top of my page in that you can just enter your email address and just submit or the easiest you can just press the follow button on the right side of my blog post so before we wind up today uh, I would just even ask you to um, use the Grammarly app I'm not there on a promotion for the Grammarly app but yet if you find the sentences you have written are uh, perfect or not is not your clarity line is not on the clarity line what you could do is you can just use the Grammarly app and find out whether you have any mistakes in those sentences which you have written or the easiest you can just email me what you have written and I'll just uh, check you and tell whether these sentences were right or not and they are fit for you to talk about so before we wind up we will just uh, see what will be a procedure for the next coming up days what will be the procedure in which we will we will be carrying the challenge okay the first step would be i will be giving you two tips every day to just improve on your english speaking the second one i will add a clipping a recorded clipping in my blog 
And the third one, I will give you a task to do every day, like what I gave you to write five sentences, uh, which you use regularly and just speak in front of the mirror. And the fourth one is you have to email me or uh, leave in the comment box what you want me to teach every day. And the fifth one will be I will be giving you certain uh, grammar tips or English speaking tips uh, in my blog itself. I'll be adding it every day. Maybe it might be a grammar portion too or it might be anything what you request. That will be added in my blog. This is the way I'm going to handle uh, the challenge. How many ever days you just decided for. And uh, thank you for being here. And thank you for uh, um, your time. And if you liked what I posted. And uh, if you really felt this helpful for you to learn uh, English. Just uh, get me geared up and get me motivated. And uh, just tell me if you liked it in the comment box. And without being selfish, just forward this blog to as many as you can, uh, to all those you think they might be needing English for their lives. And uh, let us grow by growing others. That's what is good about this world. Uh, all the very best and you can speak English. Motivate yourself. Thank you. Catch you up in my next clipping.